Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is Boxing Day. I'm sorry about my voice. Basically, I got sick on the 22nd of December, which is the day before my birthday. I'm also really out of breath because I can't breathe. <laughs> and I just thought that I would do one of these what I got for Christmas 2018 videos. And while I know that these videos are a little problematic because it's like showing off all the material things you got for Christmas and blah blah blah, I do want to say that I don't really care too much about the stuff that I get on Christmas anymore. It's more about spending time with family and just just having a great jolly time, you know? It's about the small moments, not the presents, but I thought it, this would be an interesting thing to do because I got mainly Harry Potter stuff, which I predicted that I would, and I just thought, why not? I don't have any other video ideas right now, and yeah, I am pretty gutted that I got ill the day before my birthday. But that's fine, maybe I'll be better by New Year's, here's the hoping. I'm going to try and remember who got me what. This year felt weird, it didn't really feel like Christmas to me, and I don't know if it's because I'm getting older that opening presents doesn't excite me anymore and it doesn't make me be like, oh, I got this and I got this, like I can barely remember what I've got, so we're just going to go through this and it's going to be a little reminder to me. God, I can't even talk. So Paige, I know she got this for me. Oh no, it's all crushed from the bag. This is from HMV and this is a limited edition calendar and basically you get a whole bunch of like frameable posters which is why I wanted it even though I don't know why I wanted it because there is literally nowhere else I can put frames in my room I was going for like a minimalist like look in my room and I just keep framing things and, put <coughs> and putting them on my wall and now I'm going to have no space for this but the main reason I wanted this calendar is A because my Benedict Cumberbatch one is about to go out into the bin because this year is nearly over and B because well it's Harry Potter and I just I just really wanted the frameable stuff so let's have a look actually. Ooh. So I knew Paige was gonna get this for me because I hinted so badly about it and then <laughs> she went and bought it and I could see it in her bag and she got really upset that I knew what it was. But to be honest I knew she was gonna get it for me because she said that she would just so see how I've got the frosted stone. Basically I think what it is is you can frame the posters underneath like the actual calendar bit. So usually I don't like calendars like this because it's very like difficult to see the dates like my blind bitch ass eyes aren't going to be able to read this but I got it more for the fact that I just like having a calendar every year even though I don't use the things it just fills a space in my bedroom if you know what I mean. I think you just rip off the poster when you're done with that month. Yeah 12 ready, <laughs> ready to frame prints so it's going to be a lot of things to frame by the end of the year, so maybe I can try and find some space to put them, but I also just bought new like, canvas things that I can insert a clip of right here if I remember. Editing Rebecca, please insert clips here. So I got this undesirable number one Harry Potter canvas and this Harry Potter Wizards Weasley's orange canvas. These were both from Poundland for £5 each and despite the fact that it's from Poundland they're really good quality. I don't actually know where to put any frameable things now because I've taken up all of the room on my walls. Thank you very much Paige for this, I love it. My mum got me this which is probably inside out because I wore it last night. I knew I was going to be getting like Harry Potter stuff from my mum, I always do every year. I think she's just like, oh easy, Rebecca, Harry Potter, done, bam. <laughs> which sometimes can be annoying because I don't always want Harry Potter stuff. But at the same time, I freaking love Harry Potter, so I'm always pleased no matter what. So if you're ever stuck on a present for me, just get Harry Potter stuff. Unless I tell you that I've suddenly gone off of it, which I can't see it happening, I hope. Then um, just always get me Harry Potter gifts, because that's just what I like. This onesie, and it says 07 Seeker on it. It's like a nice soft material. It's navy. I don't know why I always describe the colour when you can see it. See, the back is just plain. It's really, really comfortable. And it definitely kept me warm last night because my sister's flat is very, very cold in there. I don't care what she says it is. So this kept me incredibly warm, um, which really helps when you're sick as hell. I had a nice little hood as well with like a wizard's, um, a wizard's pointy hat on it. So yeah, I thought that was super cute and I will definitely be wearing this to bed tonight. Okay, this one is from my brother and I feel kind of guilty because I didn't end up getting him anything. I didn't know if I was actually going to see him on Christmas Day, so now I'm going to have to go out and get him something. He got me this Krispy Kreme, like, cup, and I can't wait to put milkshakes in here. Like, I love milkshakes, okay? I absolutely love milkshakes. And then you've got this, like, caramel... I don't actually know what it is. I think it's, like, syrup? I'm not sure. Let me read it. Yeah, caramel syrup. So I can put that straight into a hot chocolate, a coffee, or 
for me a milkshake. I most definitely am going to put like a chocolate milkshake in here and use the car caramel syrup. And you get this cool little swiggly, um, cool little straw as well with it. And I just thought that was really cute. I am a big fan of collecting cutlery, um, mugs especially. I'm a huge fan of. I have way too many cups and mugs in my house. I don't have enough space in my cupboard to the point where I have to put the mugs on the top of my cupboard now because I collect so many. But people know me really well when they get me like cups and stuff. Maybe he was just lucky. I really do like it and I can't wait to use it and paste this sauce. Speaking of mugs, this one Paige, my sister that I just spoke about a minute ago, also got me, but she got this for me for my birthday. Um, it was my 24th birthday on the 23rd. Unfortunately, I was working all day, but hey, that's that whole life. And she got me this. Um, wrapped in like see-through wrapping paper because she stupidly bought something that she thought was silver wrapping paper turns out it was see-through so the second I before I even opened it I knew what it was so this is a mug and it says nobody knows I'm gay and it's like a heat changing one I'll show you it's black it says nobody knows and then when I put like coffee in it or whatever um, it'll say whoa nearly dropped it he knows I'm gay and it'll change. Basically she got this for me because my family have this running joke that I'm secretly gay. Um, I used to go along with it quite a lot. But do I find it funny? In most cases it does go a little too far sometimes but I'm not going to take it to heart. I know it's a joke and you know what? I, I truly don't care. Like You might as well make fun of yourself. Yes, I'm that single that my family truly believes that I'm secretly gay but that's fine. It's whatever. One day I'll get a boyfriend. <laughs> one day. I do like it. Um, I'm going to add this to my growing mug collection and yeah it's going to be weird to like drink out of this in front of anybody because they're like, genuinely going to think that I'm gay and anyone that doesn't know me won't get the joke or think like, I'm being homophobic or whatever but this is just like an inside joke with my family. Okay so here are some of the gifts from my dad. So this I mainly asked for all of the gifts from my dad because he doesn't love shopping so he gets really annoyed every year because he just wants you to give him a list of things that you want and I've learned to not be so polite about it because he just gets angry so I just wrote him a straight up list this year and said choose what you want from the list and there were quite a few things that I wanted because at the time I was very skin I was in between changing from my old job to my new job um, and I was spending a lot of money on other people and I was truly poor so there were so many things that I actually did want while I went shopping for everyone else so I just wrote it down and gave it to him. Ariana Grande's perfume Moonlight, um, this is her new one I'm pretty sure, I've never had it before anyway. Um, I had one of her old ones before and it was really really nice and I'm super excited to use this. I love getting perfume and things for Christmas because usually all I get is tons and tons of perfume and it lasts me till like summer and that's great for me because I just... Perfume is one of these things that I hate spending money on but I absolutely love receiving. You just can't go wrong with perfume, like even if loads of people got me loads of this I'd be chuffed whether I got multiples of it or not because perfume is just brilliant and I've wanted Ariana's new one for a long long time, I've been a huge fan of hers this year and yeah, I just really wanted to see what it smells like. I can't remember what it smells like, I'm pretty sure I tried it out in like Devon's or something but um, yeah, I'm excited to finally have some proper perfume because at the moment it's like budget perfume from Poundland or like Tesco's or something because I'm so poor. Okay, Jessica got me this and this is really weird because I had no clue what Jessica was going to get me. And me and Jessica are basically the same person, I swear to God. Um, and she somehow managed to know that I would want this. Now you're going to be thinking, well Rebecca, everybody knows you like Harry Potter so they can pick up anything and you probably wanted it. True, but I have been looking at this potion like lamp thing for a long long time now and I really really wanted it and I was intrigued to buy it but I did not so intrigued that I was going to buy it with my own money so when I opened this from her I was quite surprised and she seemed chuffed that I'd been wanting it because she didn't know I wanted it at all like it's not a gift that I hinted to her or anything she just kind of picked it up because it was Harry Potter and yeah you can say she could have got you anything Harry Potter and you could have been like oh yeah I really wanted that but <laughs> still I thought it was pretty cool and I actually can't wait to use this thing oh it changes colours you know I'm going to set that to the yellow setting this is also from my dad. I was shocked to get this because this is definitely the kind of gift that I thought you would get like Bethany and I even checked the label and was like, is this actually for me? But I do like it. This is a <laughs> bendable and poseable bow truckle from Fantastic Beasts. Yeah, 
I know it's like a toy and I'm literally 24 now and you're thinking why the hell are you getting this kind of thing for Christmas but you know what my dad's never been judgmental about it and I appreciate that he still understands my love for Harry Potter or at least he puts up with it he got me this because he thought it was cute and um yeah, I'm quite happy with it. I didn't expect it at all because I definitely didn't ask for it, but it was nice to get something that I didn't expect to get, you know, because, like, all the frills got away when you've given someone a list of things that you want. Um, so it was really nice to actually open this and have a surprise. I'm definitely going to be placing this somewhere, maybe next to my head wig or something, because I like collecting, like, collectible things like this from Harry Potter. I want a Niffler as well. Um, I think definitely got one for Christmas, but I really want a Niffler as well but they're quite expensive so I'm really happy with this and I'm going to put this up somewhere in my bedroom. I'm sure it will freak a few people out that don't know what it is but there you go. Okay, this one is from Lush I think I want to say. I can't remember who this is from which is really bad. I think it's from my dad. So this is, I'm pretty sure it's a Lush box set. It must be. I'm assuming, yeah it smells like Lush. I'm assuming this is a Lush box set, I don't know what's in it yet, I would open it now but I don't want to like make tons of mess in my room because there's so much to open and stuff now, but yeah, um, you can never go wrong with a little bit of Lush, I've got so much Lush this year, every year I get so much Lush, I love getting Lush, I know people in here are going to be like, oh problematic company, blah blah, Lush has always been a favourite thing of mine, I used to buy it for myself all the time, um, out of my own money, just every month I'd spend at least 50 quid just on bath stuff. I used to literally have a lush bath every single night. There's just something great, I know you're not supposed to because it's bad for you, but it's, there's just something great about getting into a bath bomb, Stop scrubbing yourself with some smellies, just feeling fresh and new and oh, I just can't wait to have a bath tonight now. Just, I got so much lush for Christmas and you can never go wrong with that as a gift for someone, I'm telling you. Now this one I also asked for from my dad, I actually asked for it before I saw The Crimes of Grindelwald, so don't come for me in the comments like, oh you made a video about hating The Crimes of Grindelwald and then you asked for, just shut up, okay? <laughs> yes, I asked for the book, whilst I may not have loved, loved it, I did think it was a good film, I just, just, I had a few problems with it as a Potterhead, it's not that deep. And to be honest, I like collecting everything Harry Potter regardless of what it is. I even have a copy of The First Child and we all know how I feel about that book. But I just like collecting everything. Maybe this is how J.K. Rowling makes her money because I'm a gullible little bitch and because I want to collect it all, I'll just buy whatever even if I don't agree with it. But I thought maybe if I read it it won't be so bad and I've been meaning to read for a while now anyway. I have the first um, screenplay of Fantastic Beasts anyway. So once I start a collection I have to finish it regardless and I do want to say that I think I have faith in the rest of the book in the rest of the books in the rest of the movies for this and hopefully a lot of things will be explained and plot holes will be covered. So yeah. I asked for this, hopefully I'll be good. Maybe I'll do a review, I don't know, it's literally just a movie and book form, but I wanted it anyway. I just wanted it. This one is a wand. This is Voldemort's wand. I'm proper chuffed with this. I asked my dad for it. I was a bit nervous to ask him because I am, again, a 24-year-old woman now. And asking for, essentially, toys is really weird. But he didn't judge me and he got me it anyway, so thanks a lot, Dad. There are a lot of ones that I don't have, like Ron's wand and things like this that I really want to get. I just want to collect, like, the main ones. I don't know if I'd ever collect every wand. Maybe one day, if I had the money, I definitely would. But I think this year I'm going to start collecting at least a wand a month um, so that I have the entire collection and one day I can do a video on all of my ones. Yeah, it's not like I play with them or anything, I'm not a weirdo, it's just I like collecting all the Harry Potter ones and I haven't had Voldemort's wand just yet. I got the um, Newt Scamander's wand last, last month or this month, I think. Um, I bought it for myself and I don't know, I just love collecting ones, especially ones that look nice. Voldemort's one is one that you definitely need in your collection if you're a fan, so yeah. Thanks, Dad! So I was not expecting two presents from Paige, although I kind of was there when she bought this one. This is Harry Potter socks from Primark. Primark, the memories. I actually asked her for these straight up. I was like telling her how I wanted every single Harry Potter Christmas scene like sock in these packaging and she bought me one right in front of my face. I forgot it was a couple of days before I left Primark. She picked this up for me and was like, oh, I'll buy it for you. And I kind of forgot about it. 
So yeah, I was quite thrilled to get this because I completely forgot that she'd even bought it for me. They are just some thick, ooh, they're really thick actually. I wasn't expecting that little characters on. With Ron, Hermione and Harry on. They're proper cute, little maroon socks. You can never go wrong with getting socks for Christmas. I remember when I was younger, I hated getting like socks, knickers, bras, pajamas, this kind of thing for Christmas. But now that I'm an adult and I don't like spending my hard-earned money on like necessities, it's always nice to get things that you need for Christmas. I don't know if that's just me, but I was really hoping to get like perfume, bath stuff, um, socks, knickers, that kind of thing for Christmas, and I did. And I always pray for that as an adult because. Now I just love getting that kind of stuff because it just helps out. Like it just, I, I always forget to buy socks and like essential things that I need, so it's always nice to get these things as an adult. This one my mum got for me. It says undesirable number one, Harry Potter on it. It's a notebook. I never actually end up using these notebooks whenever I get them, but I do collect them. Um, I was going to buy this for myself, so I'm really glad that I didn't end up doing that. I was literally going to buy this. I think it was Christmas Eve when I was working, there was one where I work and I was going to buy it from there because it was really cheap and I'm really glad that I didn't now because she ended up getting it for me so yeah that's just a stroke of luck otherwise I would have ended up having two of these but yeah I really like it, I'm probably not going to write in it, I'm not going to lie to you. I don't know, I just like having them for collectors value if you know what I mean, I'm such a nerd. Okay this is another one that I asked for from my dad. I collect these every single year. This is the Harry Potter illustrated versions of the books. Um, I have Chamber of Secrets and Philosopher's Stone. This is Prisoner of Azkaban. My brother used to get me this every year for Christmas and it became kind of like a tradition. And I say tradition, that was only two years, but still. He would get it for me every year, but this year I didn't expect anything from my brother. <laughs> didn't know he was going to get me anything. So I asked my dad for this because I wanted to carry it on. and. I don't know, I'd never go out of my way to buy these like out of my own money, but now that I've started the collection I have to finish it, and one day when I get the time I will actually read these with the illustrated versions, but it is nice to just collect them, and I think they're really really pretty, and I don't know, I just have to finish the collection, and I'm intrigued to see what they do for the next ones, because they're getting thicker and thicker these books, and it must take a long long time to do all the illustrations, so I can't imagine what next year's one's going to be like for like <laughs> Goblet of Fire because the fourth book goes up in size so much. That was really cute and I'm really glad that I got it. This one, this is Harry Potter A History of Magic. I have wanted this for the longest time. I love collecting books from the Harry Potter series and the Harry Potter world. I saw this in Waterstones I think it was um, a couple of weeks ago when I was doing Christmas um, gift shopping for other people and I pointed it out to Bethany and I was like, my other sister, and I was like, I really want this, like I've always wanted a history of magic. And my sister went and told my dad and he got it for me and I'm really happy. I completely wasn't actually expecting this one. I've wanted it for the longest time but it's not one that I was expecting and I do miss getting books because I really do need to get back into reading next year and I definitely want to reread the Harry Potter series and everything because I feel like such a fake fan at the moment. I'm really looking forward to reading this and maybe I'll read it tonight to get myself to sleep. I always say that and then I end up just on YouTube all night but yeah I was really pleased with this one. Then this one, not too interesting but I got some shower gel from my mum. It does smell delicious. Ah. Mm, yes and the fact that I can smell it when I've got the worst cold in the world brilliant. Literally I haven't been able to smell or taste anything all Christmas and it's really made me upset. I downed so many glasses of wine because it tasted like nothing. Like it was a bit of a perk because I was drinking way faster than I can ever drink. Every, anyone that knows me knows that I am a slow ass drinker but I was, I got proper drunk on Christmas day. I hid it pretty well I think. Nearly fell down the stairs, but still. I was just full on downing the wine because I couldn't taste it because I've got such a bad cold. The only downside was I couldn't taste my roast dinner and Christmas dinner is the one meal that I look forward to the whole year. It's the best meal of the year and I couldn't taste it. I could taste my dinner today, but it wasn't the same. Like It wasn't a full on roast, so I am upset about that. But my point is, it must be good if I could smell it through a cold like this. Vanilla and raspberry. And she also got me this Impulse Irresistible bag. Um, ooh, the bag's really pretty actually. I might use this for makeup. Ooh. It has a perfume and a, what do you call it, body spray in there. And I'm really happy with this because, like I said, I love getting smellies for Christmas. I'm really happy with this. Some pyjama shop, shops? Pyjama shorts from my mum. 
they're Harry Potter ones, they've just got like the Deathly Hallows sign on them, so Harry Potter all over them. I've been wanting pyjama shorts for the longest time. I'm just one of these people I hate spending money on pyjamas because I just think no one's ever going to see me in them. Like, I'd rather sleep naked than waste my money. So I'm really glad that I finally got some freaking pyjamas. Maybe I'll wear these actually. Although I might. It might do me better to wrap up tonight because I am so ill. I really do like these and I know they're going to be so comfortable. So actually I do want to wear these tonight. <laughs> But yeah, I love getting pyjamas for Christmas, this is great. And then I got this matching top, which I really actually freaking like. It's a long sleeve one, which I never get long sleeve pyjama tops, and I am so happy that I've got one, finally, because I get so cold at night. Um, it's literally the same pattern as the shorts. And then you have a little HP pocket on the front. I think it's really cute, and yeah, I was proper chuffed when I saw this. This is something that I didn't expect to get. I didn't expect much from my mum. So when I opened like pyjamas and stuff, I was proper chuffed with myself. And then this last one, I'm pretty sure it's a pyjama top. If it's not, then I'm going to wear it as a pyjama top anyway. Not sure. I'm pretty sure it is a pyjama top. I wouldn't personally wear this out in public, so it must be. But um, I am happy with it. So I could wear this with the shorts as well. It's just sparkly with HP on it. It's proper cute. Again, like I said, I was in desperate need of pyjamas at the moment. I've been wearing like old clothes to bed for pyjamas and it just doesn't work, it really doesn't because then you have to put them in the wash and then they essentially become pyjamas and it's like why but yeah and I got this Zoella Beauty Cracker from um, my friend Tay I'm pretty sure this was from Tay if I get it wrong I'm so sorry I've opened so many presents the last few days like you know um, and it comes with like a hand with wash, some lotions you know I love that smelly stuff I really didn't know what to expect from Tay for Christmas um, I genuinely didn't know what the hell this was. I thought it might just be like a box of chocolates or something like this. And when I opened Zoella, I was proper chuffed because I just wasn't expecting it. Like, I just was not expecting Zoella stuff. So I'm proper happy with this because I haven't bought anything from Zoella, the Zoella's Rangers for a while. And I don't know. I, I, you know I love a good smelly. And I, I especially love, like, moisturisers and things because I never actually spend the money on, like, skincare stuff. But when I do, I love doing it. So maybe that's my New Year's resolution is to actually start doing this kind of thing. But, yeah. Thank you so much, Tay. Mmm. It also smells gorgeous. And I can't tell if it's just rubbed off from, like, my Lush stuff that was in the same bag. But it smells amazing. <laughs> this is a Bayless and Harding set. Um, it's got loads of bubble baths and I think these are fizzers. I love bath fizzers, bath bombs, so maybe I'll use one of these tonight. Oh, there's so many choices. I just don't know. I'm going to use something relaxing tonight, but I really like the packaging. I think it's so, so cute. And bath stuff is just always a win for me. So I'm really excited to be using these. And I got these from my landlady slash stepnan. And yeah, super cute. And then I got this. This says to Rocket Science. Merry Christmas. Love lots. Demi's little bitch. This is from Mel, my friend. It is a Lush box set. I'm pretty sure I asked her for this. I can't actually remember. I'm pretty sure we were in Lush and she said which one would you like. And this has the Intellactic Bath Bomb and Dragon's, bar Dragon's Egg Bath Bomb in it, which to me are two of the best ones. And yeah, you just know I love a bit of Lush. And I'm really, really happy that I got loads of Lush because I never get to spend money on Lush and now I don't have to. So it's great. Then I got three more Lush bath bombs from my landlady slash stepnan. I got um, the Dragon's Egg one, which I've already used, so I can't show you, but that was amazing. Um, I used that on Christmas Eve. Then you've got the Lord of Misrule bath bomb, the Christmassy one. Love it. And the Luxury Lush Pud bath bomb, which I actually don't know which one this is, but I don't want to open it up right now because I'd kind of like them to be a surprise for when I next use them, you know. So yeah, that was everything. I know it's a lot and I know that I sound really bad right now, but I had a great Christmas. Um, this has been a really terrible year and it was nice to have this kind of ending to it. It was a weird Christmas, like it felt really different and didn't feel like Christmas at all. And it made me kind of sad because the build up to Christmas was completely destroyed for me, but it was nice to be surrounded by family and have all these messages from friends and I don't know, it, it was really nice and even though I had to work on my birthday and stuff, I still had loads of people out there sending me birthday messages and being really nice and JB gave me some wine and like, it's just the small things that count and make your day, you know. I'm, I'm really sad that Christmas is over because, I don't know, this year it just went so quickly and it was such a weird year and I have to go back to work tomorrow and it's just like, 
I don't know, I always hate the end of Christmas, don't you? But anyway, if you enjoyed this video, you can like, you can comment, and you can subscribe. I make new videos every single week, or at least, ah, ah, or at least I'll try to. I hope that you guys had a great Christmas too. Let me know in the comments what your favourite gift is that you got. I don't actually know what my favourite gift is because I got so many amazing things, I can't actually even choose. I loved all of them equally, I think. And uh, yeah, turn on your notifications, I'm going to try and post more often. If I don't post before the new year, happy new year, these last, these last, f oh, why can I not talk today? <laughs> this illness gun to my head. These next few days are going to be really like jam packed and busy because I'm going to be working and then I've got to go out for my friends leaving do and then I've got New Year's and all this so I might not get to post until next year and if that's the case I want to say thank you to everyone that has supported this channel over this year to the people that have been nice to me and been patient with me when my content hasn't been the best because I've not been in the best headspace you might not have noticed it but I most certainly did and I lost a lot of subscribers this year and I also gained a lot of them um, and for the ones that stick, stuck around and gave me a chance when they could see that I wasn't in the best place I want to thank you for that I don't know what my channel is going to bring next year but I'm going to try and come up with some good ideas and post more regularly I hope Goodbye, Merry Christmas I hope you guys have a great new year and I'll see you on the flip side Peace out